I'm Chris Broom with Lee Boy, and we will be adjusting conveyor flight chains on a wide conveyor paver with sprocket idlers. We're performing this today on an 8520B, but we have designed all of our 8500 series to have a similar adjustment procedure. Remove the four wing bolts on each side. Fold out hopper wings. Open the right side access door and remove the hopper wing fold tool. Use this tool in the square tube near the front of the hinges to fold out the left and right side wings. Use a pair of pliers and minimal force to pick up the chain near the center of the conveyor bed. Compare the slack observed to the specification. 1 inch to 1 and a half inch on 8515 and below, 2 inches to 2 and a half inches for 8520B and 8530 machines. Use a 15 16 inch socket and ratchet to turn the conveyor bolts one quarter of a turn at a time. Clockwise to tighten the chains or counterclockwise to loosen the chains. Alternate between the left and right adjuster to ensure the idler is pulled forward evenly. It is critical that the idler remains parallel with the front of the deck. Recheck tension until the correct slack is achieved. Start the engine and run the conveyor to check that the chains are not binding, making noise, or trying to climb the front sprockets. Verify flight bars are tracking straight. Raise the conveyor deck. Install the safety prop before tightening the two idler mount bolts. You will need to loosen these before your next flight chain adjustment. Take this opportunity to remove any excess asphalt buildup under the deck and spray down those areas with citrus. We also recommend spraying citrus up into the conveyor pans to prevent material buildup inside the deck. Lastly, lower the deck fold in the wings and reinstall the wing bolts. Leeboy recommends conveyor flight chain adjustment and inspection every 100 hours. Leeboy recommends crews perform an end of shift cleanup routine of first removing all excess material. After cleaning, run the conveyors while spraying down the conveyor chains, bars, and deck with citrus release agent. This helps uh, prevent flight bars from becoming locked in hardened material in the deck, which can cause damage upon startup.